Hello, this. This is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Well, we're about to go into this, and I'm, I'm beginning to wonder if I shouldn't, you know, take a long rest or something. However, I think I think I can do it. A couple people are down a, little, a few hit points, but that's alright. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and use Arcane Recovery. And pick another level 3 spell up. There we go. Now we can go further in. Very well. Sigils. Attempts to restrain Lady Shah's power, perhaps. Failed attempts. Failed attempts, okay. So here we are in the mausoleum. What we got around here that's that's any good? There's a plaque inside. Don't need anything out here. Me, Zarel, Minthara, whoever you are, leave. I shall carry out General Form's will alone. Herald of Balthazar. Not wanted. Not needed. Diary of Catholic Kel Thorn, Volume One. Let's take a look at the plaque first. Here lies Melodia Thorn, beloved wife and mother. A Armiel Tellere Manon here. Yeah, what is that? I I know a couple items. Look at the diary. Take a look at the diary. Read it. A journal spanning years, beginning with the birth of a child and ending with what appears to be a series of dateless tra tragedies. How can she be gone? Where did she go? The Moon Maiden cannot be so unfeeling, so cruel. Not towards her most devoted servant. Not after Melodia. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. I won't survive it. That much I know. Forgetting is the only possibility. The embrace of oblivion. The reprieve of nothingness. It would not be possible for a man to survive knowing what he knows, knowing what can be lost. Shar understands that. Hers is the only mercy I can comprehend. My mind is full of holes, yet not enough. The emptiness, the time, the nothingness, and still I remember, still I remember it all. There's no mercy in this beating heart. There's no mercy in life at all. Okay. <clears throat> Sound, sounds like he, he kind of emo, you know. But uh, let's continue onward. Oh, don't don't rush. Don't run up there. I gotta get, look, take a look at this temple map. Well, I was, I was going to look at it. Oh, that's not what I want. A hand-drawn map shows the uh, Gauntlet of Shar. Its labyrinthine tangle of chambers and passageways stretch across multiple levels, with a vast statue of Shar dominated in the central hall. Here and there are sides written in a jagged, spidery hand, Balthazar's exploratory notes. Intact wing, proving grounds. Ruined wing, something present there, strange sounds reported. Rats, why so many damnable rats? Okay, so... Temple under this place. And something deadly sealed inside it. Yeah. I have to assume that the ruined one... Is where the demon that we're supposed... Or the, the devil that we're supposed to face off against is an open tomb empty not ominous in the slightest there's more to this place i'm sure of it lady shah's presence is near there's a button not so much as a poison arrow the trap's been disarmed or broken Moonrise Tower? Tower. It's Moonrise. It used to be. Yeah. Long time ago. Well. Do we got any more of these displays? Let's take a look. I'm not seeing another button. Wait, there's one over here. Grief for his daughter. 
Okay. Black. Sosun Elg Olaf. Yeah, what does that mean? Catherick Sol had a daughter. I wonder what happened. There's all kinds of traps in here. So he was a Paladin Saloon, and he switched sides. Okay. Ooh. Get me further and further in. It's got to be way more traps than I'm actually encountering. So that heads down. I don't want to go there till I've been, I've ex I'm sure I've explored the entire upper area here. Because if I remember right, there were branches off here. <laughs> Just triggering traps. What's over here? All right, there's volume three of Ketherick Thorn. Let's go over here. See if there's volume two over here. Yeah, there's volume two up there. Bones everywhere. Someone's been engaging in dark rituals here. Creepy, but nicely done. Forgetting evades me in this infinite darkness. Balthazar is my own source of the barest comfort. The thought that perhaps she might be brought back to me. If oblivion can fail, what defense have we against death? None except its mastery. Balthazar's words never felt more promising. Okay, so he's, that's, that's his necromancer. Don't want to look at the urn. I want to look at this backpack. Got a scroll of hold monster. Nice. I'll leave the, uh, I'll leave that there. Animal carcass. Bone sculpture. Exhumed bones put on display with a profane flair of artistry. Anything over here I need to worry about? Just a skeleton chilling on the edge of the abyss. All right, head all the way back here. Loving this exploration so far. Let's take a look at the diary of Catherick Thorn. Melodia would understand if she knew my aim. She too, I believe, would have turned to a miracle under such conditions as these. Our darling will live again. What kind of man would I be if I didn't raise the entire world for her sake? Okay. I mean, I'm a necromancer. I can't really, can't really, um, can't really fault him. I want to. I got a limited number of lock picks. I gotta keep what I've got in in store. Let's take a look at this book. A small notice squeezed into the margins of a tome detailing necromantic rites. General Thorm's orders were clear. In order to find what lies beyond this mausoleum, one must walk in his own footsteps, deed by deed. From splendor to tragedy to infamy, as he put it. B. Okay. And that is Balthazar. I'm assuming. Look in here, make sure there isn't any scrolls hidden around. Not seeing any. Ooh, something I can dig up. All right, what's in the chest? Couple arrows. Okay. Just 
triggering all these non-existent traps. Oh. Something else to dig up. Got a trap disarm toolkit. Nice. All right, start heading down. Let's see where this leads us. Going down into the depths of Shars Tim. Nicer than to put an elevator in there. Dark Lady guided me here. She she wanted me to find this place. I have no doubt about that, Shadowheart. So let's see what we got here. I'm seeing this leads up here. I'll go up here first. Just make sure nothing's behind me, nothing I need to worry about. Not seeing any hidden treasures up here. All right. It is suitably suitably atmospheric, though. <coughs> Take a look at the plaque. Shah, singer of eternal night, protector of the lost and forgotten. And again. Cross from light into darkness. Give your life to the shadows. Well, that's ominous. Not seeing anything down there I need to worry about. Offer your pain to Shah's embrace. Hear the night song. Let me in. I have a fancy door. The answer lies in darkness. Shah's warriors must not be caught. Must not be tricked. Only loss awaits the unworthy. A voice. Is that Shah herself who speaks? I mean, it could be. So I would like to explore down here. Let's take a look over here. Can we disarm this? I don't want to use my, my toolkits to disarm this though. Turn base mode. Void cloud. Grab that. Just skeleton in the back. Did I just screw up? Let's dash. Dash to get to here. To here. Alright, I'm I'm done in here, I guess. Alright, who's next? You? Whatever comes, I'm ready. Let's go back here. Dash. Okay. Action, not reaction. Dash. Without delay. Ooh. I will not be bested by some shark. Ooh. There's something about that ring. Mentara. Dash. If I must. 
Okay. That's not ideal. Alright, end turn. Yeah, my skeleton's not doing anything. Alright, dash. You can't dash. Darmark, where the hell are you? You can't move. Okay. And the turn. Shar, or, or not Shar, Shadowheart. So, here's the thing. Let's exit turn-based mode. I'm gonna wipe. I don't know what I don't know what to do here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just basically Yeah, let's enter turn based mode. Let's go here. There's a ring. Maybe over here? No, you're clearly... You're clearly just exploding like crazy. So RPG Crawler is dead. Alright, let's go over here. Help. Help. And come over here. Everybody. Because we need to go ahead and raise our main guy. Well, that kind of sucked. There's a way over there. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to long rest after that. Yeah, that was brutal. Um, I can try and short rest again. Just to get more hit points. Since I primarily need hit, uh, hit points. This area looks ruined. That area looks pristine. Stay vigilant. Let's read this plaque. In darkness, beauty is equal and wealth unseen. I mean, they got a point. Let me grab this to toadstool real quick. I'll make sure I, I loot the place first. Let's open up this sarcophagus. Grab that, thank you. So wait, 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 wait. What did you just do, game? No, I don't want to go there. No, I don't want to go over there. What the hell, game? No. No, where the hell were you going? That was weird. It was like clicking. Without me clicking. Admittedly, I might have bumped my mouse into something. Where I've got my mouse laid is kind of crowded right now. But is there a way to get up there? No, 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 you can jump. Gets you all the way up here. Oh, now this is interesting. 
What, is this like an underdark area? Is this even where I'm supposed to be? So where all of the where is this leading me? Dragon egg mushroom, yeah, I'll grab that. That doesn't have a uh, foreboding name at all. Ooh, look, there's stairs. Double oak doors. Locked. Grab this dragon egg mushroom. Gilded chest. Got to be here somewhere. There is an ambush, yeah. What is that, a cloaker? That's a cloaker. Here's the thing. I, I'm not, I'm not like, too keen on the modern design of cloaker. See, the cloaker was initially designed as one of those dungeon gotchas back in the old days, where it would fold itself up and look like a cloak. That's why it's called a, clo a cloaker. So they started adding tails and fangs and teeth to the thing until it doesn't resemble a cloak at all anymore, more resembles a flying manta ray. <sighs> I also don't remember them being able to cast illusions. Alright, you jumped. Try a concussive snap, smash. Then a normal attack. What should I do? Well, Shadow Heart. I think the first thing you need to do is continue to take down this cloaker. Fifty percent chance. Sixteen percent chance. Miss. Please tell me you're not frightened. Jump up here. Let's try trip attack. Melee. Ooh. Miss, because of course. Trip attack melee. Gotcha. Action surge. Lacerate. Missed with a 70% chance. No choice but to keep going. Alright. Can you jump up there? You absolutely can jump up there. 84% with advantage, but you only get the one attack. Um, we'll lacerate it. And miss, because of course. They're frightening me. Tried to open up Blazel. Man, stop chain frightening my my uh, my cleric. Right now, I'm frightened. But I'm frightened of this, not the thing I'm trying to get towards. All right. Tell you what, RPG crawler, or not RPG crawler, Downmark. Oh, you can get there, but first, what we're gonna do? Is we're gonna, we're gonna divine favor, I think. Hmm. Divine favor on myself, and then attack. 
and miss. I'm, get, I'm getting like XCOM levels of actual attack here. It's getting kind of silly, really. Can't even see that one. And failure. Time to strike. Make way. Trip. Not range. Trip melee. Miss. Normal attack. We'll do pommel strike. And then a normal attack. Just spam missing. Oh, it does immobilize you. Okay. Well. Do we got a nice single attack? Spell. I mean, we do technically have fireball. Alright, um, sorry, I was responding to kind of an emergency thing here. Um, it's not that much of an emergency. Though. What do I do here? Do I, can I do Ray of Sickness? Like a level 2 Ray of Sickness? 42% with disadvantage. Try it. Miss, because of course. Frightening me over and over again. Alright, how about this? Minthara. Do I have Divine Favor on still? Yep. Nice hit. Nice hit. One hit point. For real, one hit point. Do Layazel. Crit miss. There we go, a hit, and everything gets dispelled. Didn't even have anything on it. Alright, I'm gonna quick save the game here. Open the chest. Get wall of fire. This that's nice. How much farther can I go? That doesn't help us with this door, does it? I still don't have a key for it. Should I try and unlock it? Fourteen. And we'll add guidance. Got like two lock. Oh my. I'm gonna use inspiration. That's good, but it's not good enough. Come on. Roll again. There we go. This better be worthwhile. Okay, we got loot. Meat. Food, mushroom soup. Somebody's living here. Silver plate. Ingredients. Yeah, so much ingredients. And lootables to sell.
And then we got some over there. And we got creatures in the other room. I can see them. Alright, let's get this stuff over here. Acorn truffle. Yeah, I got somebody calling me non stop here. Um, I'm just going to play through it. I'll, I'll get to them in a second. Quick save the game. And I think I'm actually going to wrap it up here. Deal with this uh, Deal with this call. and Because I'm near time. And it looks like there's like things in there. Things in there. Uh, so this has been the RPG Crawler with Baldur's Gate 3. If you like what you see, remember to leave a like, comment, comment, feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye.